This podcast is brought to you by 8 Letters Bookstore and Publishing. Are you an aspiring writer wanting to get your work out to the world? Try our self-publishing course and be your own boss. You'll learn the process of starting your own publishing company from editing, book cover making, marketing, up to organizing the book launch. Or if you'd rather focus on writing, contact us and we'll do the rest. We offer editing, formatting, and book cover making services. And for a more professional touch, we can also create your website for you. Visit us at 8lettersbooks.com or join our online community. Just search for 8 Circles on Facebook. So, welcome to episode 2 of Coffee and Fly. Uh, we are here with Miss Mary Joyce and we're going to talk about financial planning. Hi, welcome! Thank hey. you, thank you sa so pag-guest. <laughs> I'm financial sure this planning. is not the first time na, na guest ka, di ba? Meron na rin. Meron na ba? Oh, oh, meron na. Meron na. na. Ni live niya lang. Oo. <laughs> Pero on the spot nga yun. Ayun. So, lalabas sa IGTV and also lalabas din to sa coffeeandfly.com website. Wow. Yeah, sa Shalit. Ganon. <laughs> so, this is going to be about financial planning. So, because uh, we try to keep the podcast episode, each podcast episode uh, to be up to uh, 30 minutes max. So, we'll get to the point agad-agad. Alright, so, okay, my first question is, um, and then, wait, just a moment. Ano, brief introduction muna about Miss Mary Joyce. Sino ba ako? Sino ka? Sino ka? Ba't ka nandito? Ano ginagawa ko dito? Naupo lang. Uh-oh. Sige. Sige. Mary Joyce is um, an OFW here in Hong Kong. And every Sunday, it's, uh, it's, uh, would be her uh, time for herself. Yes. Pero ano ba yung ginagawa mo every Sunday or every Saturday? So, ano, I'm I'm three years na dito sa Hong Kong. Uh, dati, Saturday, uh, maybe mga uh, one to six months, as a natural na ginagawa ng mga OFW dito, nag-stay lang sa, sa park, ganyan. Pero yun nga, sabi, tipid. Oo, tipid. tipid. Kasi nakakatipid talaga kapag nag-stay ka lang sana kasi hindi ka masahin. So, pero nang nang nagkaroon ako ng idea yung mer- meron ako nakitang uh, meron palang chance kami ng mga FW dito sa Hong Kong na ma- ma-improve pa yung sarili namin lalong lalo na sa financial kasi yun naman talaga ang reason kung bakit tayo pumunta dito sa Hong Kong At tulad ng karamihan ng mga FW kumita ng pera at may mangyari dun sa pera so ngayon hindi na lang ako nasa park <laughs> hindi na lang ako nagpa selfie selfie oh, hindi ka na chika 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 oh, 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 ganito na siya <laughs> may pagbabago hindi na hindi na siya mukhang ano so may meron meron pang meron kang magagawa pa hindi lang uh, magpuspos or you know, enhance pa yung knowledge mo at saka mas marami ka pang matulungan sa uh, isang job na hindi mo akalain ganun uh-huh. Okay, so uh, para sa mga audience natin, si Mary Joyce actually, she is a um, financial, financial planner <laughs> ganun, every Sunday. Like, she helps OFWs uh, to plan financially, um, especially for their future, di ba? So, she's a part of IMG, um, yun nga, insurance and all that. Pero we will financial own education. financial education, but we will be focusing on uh, the reason or... What made you do this uh, from the start? Okay. So my first question to you is, um, bago ka ba pumunta ng Hong Kong or naisip na mga ibang bansa, naisip mo ba na ano ba? Ano bang plano mo? Ano bang goal mo? Kasi three years ka nang nandito sa Hong Kong. Actually, hindi lang ano, hindi lang, hindi, hindi lang ito yung first time ko sa Hong Kong. Galing din ako ng Saudi. Pero after ng two years, mas maliit naman yung South sa Saudi. So, pero may naano naman kami, may niipo naman kami doon. So, habi, level up naman, mas malaki nga ang South. So, kung may chance naman, bakit hindi? So, trinay ko ang home plan. Then, ang pinaka-plano ko lang talaga is two years. Mm-hmm. Unang plano is magkaroon lang kami ng bahay at saka maliit na puhunan para sa business. Okay. Ako for good na. Mm-hmm. Pero, yun nga, dahil nagkaroon ako ng... ng knowledge about sa pagbubuo talaga ng solid financial foundation na isip ko na hindi pa sapat para umuwi. Pero isa lang naman ang anak ko. Pero yun yung pinaka, pinakatakutan ko yung pamahal ng pamahal na ang bilihin ngayon. Pataas na ng pataas ang inflation. At lalo na ang, <laughs> ang inflation. Yung bang 
uh, pag umuwi ba ako is hindi hindi ko naiisipin na bumalik pa dito. Yung ganyan. So, sabi ko, kung yung bahay, kung makapagpatayo ako ng bahay, mm-hmm. baka mamaya, uh, s- s- siguro isang taon lang is wala na yung ipon ko. Kung hindi ko talaga maayos na na-manage yung, yung perang pinaghirapan ko dito. At saka wala talaga akong sapat na knowledge kung paano mag-set up ng business. Mm-hmm. So, ngayon nga, uh, isa rin part ng yung sa us, nagkaroon ako ng, ng ano? A-L- yes. A-L-S-E. Ateneo School of Social uh, uh, Leadership and Social Entrepreneurship. Oh, yun. Exactly. Isa din po yun sa, sa nagkaroon ako ng knowledge. Kung Classmates paano, kami. Yes, doon yes. kami nagkakilala. Oo, oh, doon kami nagkaibigan. <laughs> kung paano yung, ano, yung pag, uh, pagpa-plan ng ng business mm-hmm. how to start and paano maging maging sustainable or paano yung lang na sa para sa mga FW halimbawa ma- meron naman kami pero or pinapa-manage namin sa Pilipinas yung ano yung mm-hmm. pera namin for, pero sa uh-huh. sa katunayan talaga mahirap mahirap na hindi ka mismo yung mag magmo-manage ng sarili mong business so dahil doon may knowledge na mm-hmm. so okay another another learning yon another ano kumbaga may plan b ka Uh-oh. may plan may plan a, may plan b and then the more na, na natututo ka the more na marami kang chance na ma, 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 ma-achieve mo yung goal mo sa buhay. Oo, kasi parang ano yun eh, the more you practice or the more people telling you uh, this is what you have to do or the more you surrounded you, you surround yourself with people na with the same values as you have, yeah, parang doon na rin mapumuta yung direction mo, di ba? So, okay, so my second question is, um, so far ba, since you started, um, doing this financial planning or helping other people doing it uh, so far ba do you think you are on track kung nasaan ka ngayon versus kung nasaan ka before ano yung progress um ayun nga dahil uh, sabi ko uh, yung, yung pag for good ko is yung plan ko lang is pagpapabahay sabi ko hindi ito so Mm-mm. halimbawa kailangan ko talagang kailangan na yung in case of emergency meron akong meron akong ilan dito in case of mahukot ako para dito so or halimbawa na <laughs> it's okay so, so in case na meron kang uh, so dati meron kang uh, akala mo okay na sapat na yung pagkakaroon ng bahay uh, ngayon meron ka na rin mga investment yes or, Ah, thank you. Yun nga. <laughs> Yun nga. <laughs> Yun nga, meron na rin mga investment. Yun bang Uh-oh. passive income. Aside from, nag ako from active income. Yun, natutunan ko na dapat uh, at this stage, um, meron ka ng kapunti-unti nang nabibuild yung makocover up na yung expenses mo through your passive income. Okay. Uh, dapat yung nalaman habang tumatanda ka, nalilest na rin yung responsibility mo Mm-mm. para ma-achieve mo yung totoong financial freedom. Oo. So, kasi di ba, uh, I'm not sure if you've heard about uh, the book Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Parang may, may in-explain siya doon na kailangan, bukod sa pagkakaroon ng active income, kailangan meron ka passive income. Kasi, uh, syempre yung active income, the more you work, Ito lang yun eh. Ito lang yun. Oh, hindi tayo habang panahon is malaki. Magtatrabaho. Oo, oh, magtatrabaho. Kaya natin magtrabaho. Or fit tayo para magtrabaho. So, kailangan habang habang malakas ka pa, at the same time na cover mo yung mga expenses mo, yung, yung, yung major expenses mo, nagkakaroon ka din ng passive, passive income na pagdating ng panahon, we don't need to work. Yeah. Yung pakuya-kuya-kuya ka na lang pag-uwi ng bahay. Oo. Although, alam mo, <laughs> for good. Hindi for good. Oo, pero for good. For good. Uh, like, I don't believe na, ma- alam mo yun, na pagdating ng panahon, kukuya-kuya ka na. I'm sure mas, masipag ka eh. So, I'm sure kahit mag for good ka, meron at meron ka pa rin kagawin. Siyempre, business mo, and then, um, maybe, yun nga, yung passive income mo. Kasi kahit passive income, kailangan mo pa rin i-check, i-monitor, oh, di ba? Yun nga, yun nga. At the, yung, yung at the age na ganito, mal- malakas ka magtrabaho, pero malaki din yung expenses. Uh-oh. So, kailangan, nasi-separate mo, oh, sige, ex- uh, ano, i-expose ko oh, na sige, yung, sige, ano, yung, yung abundance rule na okay. mag-aralan namin. Yung, 
Ano to? Secret ba to? Ah, uh, hindi siya. Hindi so, pero secret. kailangan siyang sabihin. Okay, <laughs> sige, sige. Let's Kasi ito yung isang ma- ma- napakabisang ano, formula para magbuo ka ng tama ng iyong financial uh, status. Uh, status so, yung 10 uh, abundance formula, ito yung 10-20-70. Um, 10-20-70 rule. Rule. Okay. So, ito yung uh, nasa, nasa Bible ito. Okay. And then, ito yung pinakamaganda at saka ito yung pinakanagustuhan ko sa sa IMG na nagturus, nagtuturo sila ng financial literacy but they're not focused only on the income Mm-mm. or investment. Uh-oh. Um, sabi nga, lahat ng biyaya na natatanggap mo is from God. Okay. So, you need to you need to separate. For example, your, your salary is 100% like this. You, dati, kung sa normal na buhay mo dati is, yung salary mo is mabawasin mo na yung expenses ka agad-agad. Oh, oh. Dito, you need to use the formula 10, 20, 70. Yung 10, uh, 10% my, of your income. Oh yes, minus mo na siya dun sa salary, which is ibalik mo sa, biya, sa, sa Panginoon. Dahil lahat naman ay nanggaling sa kanya. Then 20% oh, oh. para sa yung future Sa Jack mm-hmm. Angel na banggit na yun eh, sabi ko ba, Uh-oh. oh kahit pala sa mga bata, yung, 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 yung ano, meron ka na talagang habang nag, nag, nag-accumulate ka ng active income ngayon, meron ka ng para sa future mo, mm-hmm. hindi lang puro expenses, Uh-oh. kailangan talaga meron kang itinatabi. Uh-oh. So sabi ko, yeah, which is good na, na, na natutunan ko to sa IMD, 10% para sa, sa God, back, and then 20% para sa future mo, and then 70% na pala, napakalaki pa para sa expenses. Para sa expenses. So, pag yung ginawa mo yung ganun, as in, nakapagbigay ka sa Panginoon, or kaya naman kung hindi ka naniniwala dito, you can give to charity na gusto mong tulungan. Community, yes, community. Yes, community. Giving back. Yes. Oh, I believe that. O kaya naman sa family mo. Mm-hmm. And then, meron ka pang natitira sa sarili mo, yun nga. Kailangan pay yourself. First. First. Yeah. Yeah. Yun lang. Huwag kahit mawala, kahit resibo na lang lagi sa sabi ng mga kapatid, kahit resibo na lang yung matira. Mm. Pero I'm sure sa IMG, yeah, we we have received only. Yeah. <laughs> we have received okay. only. But <laughs> pag titingnan mo yung mga resibo na uh, wala yun, wala pera. <laughs> Oo, pero at, at least at meron least. siyang allocation. Yes, meron nang na-set aside para sa aming future. Mm-hmm. Meron na rin yung sa ganang. And then, nakakover up pa namin lahat ng expenses. Kung maga, awa na pa naman, pakonti-konti na didisiplina. Yun naman yun eh. Mm-hmm. If you have the discipline and then your action, you start. Uh-oh. Pag hindi ka kasi nag-start, walang mangyayari. Sabi mo, bukas na. Bukas na. And then, bukas naman, may hihingi na naman sa Pilipinas. Ay, nako. <laughs> Marami akong ganyang story. Like, so, even ako, like, I myself, nagkaroon din ako ng, um, I wasn't this disciplined pagdating sa pera. Like, sige, gastos. Kasi nakikita ko, mas lumalaki yung sahag ko, mas lumalaki yung gastos ko. Oo, but then I realized na, actually, maraming chance na, or maraming opportunity for you to save money, di ba? Okay, so siguro, uh, punta na tayo sa third question. Pero may nangyari doon sa akin. Ano? Pero may nangyari doon. Pero may nangyari doon. Tama, nasagot naman. Okay, sige, sige, sige. Na, you are, so far, you are on track, di ba? Oo. So, um, pero yun nga. Um, okay, the third question, which is nakalimutan ko na. <laughs> Kasi na, ano, na, 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 na sidetrack tayo. Oo. Oh, oh. Pero, um, Okay, uh, ito pala. Ano yung first step for those Filipino or overseas Filipino workers abroad? Um, ano yung magiging first step nila sa tingin mo um, for them to start uh, financially planning for their future? Ano yung, magiging, ano yung first step na mararecommend mo? Um, aral muna. <laughs> aral muna, yes. Okay. Yes. Gusto ko yan. Aral muna. Kasi... Kapag, ka, kapag ka hindi mo talaga pinag-aralan how money works or or paano ba talaga yung totoong pagmamanage ng pera. Ano eh, hindi ito tinuro sa school. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Hindi ito tinuro sa school. So, ngayon na ano, marami naman eh, hindi lang naman IMG. Hindi lang naman yung ano, kahit si consulate, kahit card bank. Maraming mga financial institution na nagbibigay ng different financial literacy. Kahit enriched, di ba? Yes. Uh-oh. Pero yun nga, nasa sa'yo yun, walang makakatulong sa sarili mo kung hindi ikaw lang yung gagawa ng mo. Hindi si kaibigan mo, hindi si kapitbahay, hindi si magulang mo. Siyempre yung sarili mo yung gagawa. At saka yung consistency na 
na every time kahit sabihin na mali at maliit ang natitira sa iyo, maliit ang kinikita mo, meron ka dapat na ikatay. Even 10 pesos, napakalaking, napakalaking bagay na. So, aral muna. Okay. Education. How, yes, education. Yun yung pinaka first your big first Pero you have step. to be careful then pagdating sa education kasi maraming like a lot of uh, people will feed you with a lot of information na hindi naman siguro relevant uh-oh, for you. So, so you have to them. search also. You have to search also and then comparison mm-hmm. nga. Uh-oh. Kung talagang ano yung needs mo. Yun uh-oh. yung pinaka ano din eh. Kung ano yung needs mo. Kasi marami nag-o-offer na hindi mo naman siya kailangan. So you're just wasting your money. Mm-hmm. And then your, your time yun nga. So, Strategize then Like uh-oh. alam mo alam mo kung ano yung goal mo. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ikaw mismo yung magde-decide nun. Kaya nga yun. Aral mo na do some search. Yes. Kung ano yung kailangan mo. At saka kung ano yung pinaka mo. Yun nga sabi. Yung totoong financial educator. Talagang i-re-reset ito sa'yo yung, yung tama at fit sa'yo. Yeah. Hindi naman, hindi ka basta pakukuhanin or ano na, hindi mo naman siya may tutuloy, hindi mo naman kailangan. Yung mga, yun nga, may right time. Oo, oh, oh, may right time. time. Para, at saka, yun nga, right education. Education. Right so, kung gusto right. mo mag, 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 ano, like if right. you're thinking about starting, you have to educate yourself first. Okay, first and foremost. Okay, so, pa, saan ka ba namin matatagpuan? Like, saan ka namin mahanap? Yun, that's yun, the question. Kumbaga, um, yun nga, marami naman kaming contacts. Kuma, pero sa akin kasi nandito ako sa Hong Kong, kung marami na, nakikinag or marami makakapanood ng, ng, ng episode na to, <laughs> sana may natutunan kayo. <laughs> so, ano lang, uh, basta ano, um, message lang kayo dito, Uh-oh. okay naman, or comments lang kayo kung paano na, kung paano Comment nyo mag- kung, yeah. kung paano nyo ma- kung paano nyo mas ma-explore pa yung ano, pinagsasabi namin dito. Oo, uh-huh, yun. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much, thank Mary you. Joyce. I'm sure this will be, this will not be the first and last na may invite ka namin dito. And uh, siguro in the future, you can help us uh, for a more uh-huh. in-depth, di ba, planning. Kasi yun nga, yung ano, bata pa tayo, marami pa tayo matututunan. Oo, uh-huh. uh-huh. marami pa. Usap-usap lang. <laughs> yun, so make your holidays or day off worth it. Yeah. Okay. Yun, yun, okay. Yun nga. <laughs> yun nga. Sige. Thank yun you. Nga. Thank you very Joyce. Salamat. Marami. Yeah. So, See, you. See you. Bye See guys. <laughs> have you been thinking if you should quit your job and pursue your passion? Well, you don't really have to quit it right away. It's always good to test the waters before deciding if you really want to passion hustle full time. Yes, we call it passion hustle. That means keeping your career on track and still earn from your passion by working on it part-time. Having a website actually gets you your first passion hustle clients, but creating one can be a strenuous task. The good news is we can help you with that. Coffee and Fly offers website development and design. Level up your business and establish your brand with a WordPress website. Our package starts at 15,000 pesos or 300 US dollars. That includes the domain name, web hosting, business email setup, and three months technical support. Check out coffeeandfly.com slash services for more details. Thanks again for listening for today's episode. This is Cindy Wong for Coffee and Fly. Hope to see you again on the next episode. Goodbye!